Today, I wanted to talk to you about our life skill this cycle, which is discipline. We have been working for the past month on teaching the kids the four levels of discipline, and I want to share them with you so you can benefit from them as well. Level one of discipline is obeying the rules. Having your child listen to what they're being asked to do and then respond with yes sir or yes ma'am and do it. Imagine how much nicer and how much less stress there would be in your house if your child simply responded that way and did what you asked them to do. Too many times parents give in to debating or even arguing with their child. Don't fall into that trap. The second part of level one discipline is not throwing a temper tantrum. A lot of times when you ask your kids to do something, they roll their eyes or they throw their body and that's a temper tantrum and not acceptable. Teach them better ways to respond when they're asked to do things. Level two of discipline is self-discipline. Teach your child to figure out the things that they're supposed to be doing and get them done before you tell them to do it. Simple things like make your bed every day or get yourself dressed, brush your teeth. Create a list of things that your kids can be working on to develop their self-discipline. How much stress is that going to reduce on you not having to talk to them, lecture them, and remind them 10 times a day? Did you brush your teeth? Did you make your bed? Did you do your homework? Level three is self-control. Having good discipline means being in control of your feelings and emotions. This is a struggle for a lot of kids. They want what they want and they want it when they want it. And if they don't get it, they're not sure how to handle that disappointment. Having good self-control means it's okay to be upset, but it's not okay to throw a temper tantrum. It's okay to be angry, but it's not okay to yell and scream. Start to work on acceptable ways to deal with disappointment. And that brings us to level four. Level four discipline is self-awareness. This is a struggle for all children and unfortunately, a lot of adults. Self-awareness is the understanding of how your actions affect those around you. We also include inactions. So if you don't do something, how does that affect those around you? If your job is to make your bed every morning and you don't do it, what's the impact of those around you? Well, mom or dad are gonna get upset. You're gonna get yelled at and now everybody's stressed. Teaching your child to become self-aware and that what they're doing and how they're doing it affects other people will eventually lead to empathy. These skills are tremendous things that are going to help your child become a great leader as they grow up. My name is Denny Strecker, and I'm the owner and chief instructor at Prestige Martial Arts. I have been helping children develop life skills for over 27 years, and I would love to work with your child. Please visit our website, www.pmatroy.com, or even better, call me. I would love to speak with you and see how I can help. I hope you have an absolutely awesome day, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.